Hello everyone, my name is Oluwatoyin Adelako and I'm a PhD student from the University of Ibadan. Um, I'm excited to be here at ISA 2020 and also happy to be presenting my work at this doctoral consortium. Um, the title of my work is a metrics-based model for programming skill and I'll just go ahead to the what will be the impact of unambiguously being able to measure programming skill? Um, I think it will be massive because in education, for example, it's going to give us the opportunity to be able to benchmark the skills of students and be able to highlight and spotlight students who are at risk of dropping out from the course as dropout rates in computing education are quite high. But knowing, you know, being able to benchmark skills as students pass through education can help us to identify students who are at risk of dropping out. Also, in, comp in um, software engineering um, research, in empirical software engineering research, it would be helpful in resolving the confounding factor around programming skill of experiments, of software you know, experiments. And being able to resolve that means that those, ex those um, researches, those experiments will become more valid. And um, finally, for the industry, uh, many software estimation models um, rely on man hours to estimate the amount of effort and the cost of software. However, the amount of work that can be done per man hour is also affected by the skill of the actual individual who does the work. Therefore, being able to measure or estimate the skill of the actual individuals within the organization um, before, you know, um, making the calculations with the estimation models would um, give more accurate results. Therefore, there'll be more, um, less risk of um, project failure, of project going over budget and um, missing timelines, which is also an important thing. So I believe that this research is extremely important and I'm hoping for the best. Um, so far, far my, the research is um, constructed on, on the basis of a conceptual model that has been designed along the lines of um, the cost effect model. Um, we are just asking the question, what causes um, programming skill? So we're using that model in that sense to frame our thinking around this work because we believe according to the um, law of skill um, that you have to have skill before you can use it to produce um, anything before you can use it. So the acquisition of skill comes before the use of skill. So we are we, we are asking the question, what are the things that you must do? What are the things that you must know, perhaps, um, to actually exhibit programming skill? And how do those actually affect the levels that two or more individuals exhibit? So we have developed a conceptual model around that, and that has framed our work. Um, the Results we've gotten so far, we've conducted some trial um, experiments uh, with a few subjects. Um, in that experiment, we used a questionnaire to collect bio data and also um, information about prior experience with programming, um, prior knowledge of programming and all that. And then we gave the subjects a set of programming tasks, um, which constituted, um, it consisted of some coding task and some program comprehension task and um, we collected the data and pulled them together to be analyzed um, so far um, is that we did a linear regression of um, the results and what came out so far is that the number of courses you know so the length of time that the subject had been studying the programming language and the number of hours that this the subject had recently been actively writing programs in that language um, where the key elements, the key variables that affected um, programming skill, you know. So um, our programming skill was conceptualized as um, um, program quality. So we were looking at the correctness of the code. Did the code run? Um, did it run with bugs or did it run without bugs? So if the code ran with bugs, it had a score of zero. 
um, if the code sorry didn't run at all it had a score of zero if it ran but with a few bugs it had a score of one and then if it ran without bugs it had a score of two and and so on and um, we also went ahead to do a principal component analysis and um, that brought up three factors and we were able to narrow it down to two factors and those factors were experience with programming language and um, length of learning which actually tallied with the linear regression model so those are our results so far um also um looking ahead we are looking to collect more data in the same line um using students um to get more data points to you know just make the the, the data points you know more and see how that um, strengthens the model um, we are also looking at um, actually getting data from professionals um, to validate the data to see how that works out you know when it comes to professionals and uh, we're also looking at not just developing a linear model but we are looking at the possibility of actually developing a neural network because what we are looking at at the end of this work is to have a kind of predictive model you know that can learn over time and be able to predict um what the skill of certain individuals are when the characteristics have been fed into the model so that's the, the work so far at this doctoral consortium um what we i'm really looking at is to get feedback on the methodology and the plans i have for future work um that would be really helpful the characteristics that are being measured um, that we're using to feed into the model, um, the methodology of um, conducting the research. So generally, um, comments and advice on the methodology that would as help me to get my work completed and, and get it to be successful. So thank you everyone for listening. And um, I would like to have comments and questions around the work. Thank you so much.